Hi everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today um, we're going to go over some of the basics with Surecuts Lot 3. A lot of people have been asking me to do more videos on scale and in all honesty, I'm not all that familiar with the program myself so I'm going to kind of be learning it along with everybody else and hopefully we can kind of uh, go through some of these stumbling blocks together. So the first thing is I did have someone email me a question about working with the layers in scale 3. So that's mainly what we're going to do here today. I'm going to import an SVG and I'm actually going to import the exact one that she was looking at. This is from Lettering Delights Provincial Princess and it's the very first one and you may recognize this. I did this one on a, um, on a card a um, couple months ago I think it was now for my niece for her birthday now one of the things when you're working with scale is normally um, you know when you have this icon down here if you move this one it'll move proportionally but as you can see it's not proportionate at all so I'm just gonna go ahead and undo that because what you have to remember is you have to click this box to keep proportions and then when you move it with that button it'll stay um, so that's just one little thing there. Your, um, you've got your X and Y coordinates right here over on position size, nudging keys, uh, align. This is a lot to do with the lining and, sp and spacing that we would see in Make the Cut. So if I want to make sure that every part of this is aligned to the right or the left, uh, we can use these buttons here. Also our sizing right here, so if you want an exact size. And then also here is your rotate um, property, so if we wanted to rotate this. But I mainly want to focus on working with the layers in this. So if you look over here to our layers properties, and actually I'm going to move this more into the middle of the screen so that you can see it better. As you'll see here that there's one layer that says the Provincial Princess 01.svg. Now, one of the things, if you notice, this folder tab says it has a G in it. So, if we click right here, it's going to show you all the sub-layers that are part of that layer. And it's got them all divided out automatically for you by color. So, you can see here that we've got the white background, we've got the blue for her wings, we've got uh, another background piece there, her hair is right there, part of her dress and that sort of thing. So I'm actually going to select this one right here and pull this out to the side so that we can look at this one a little bit better. But um, as you'll notice here on this particular layer there are two pieces and they are grouped together because they are with the lettering delight colors they are to be cut from the same color. Now, of course, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, so you could, if you chose to, is you could then do the same thing we did before, and you'll see that each one of these pieces is a sub-sub layer of the main file. Um, another thing that you can do here, and I'm going to do it with this one, is I'm going to go back and I've got the main layer selected with these two pieces in it and we're going to go up to our object and we're going to select ungroup. Now when you do that you'll notice here now that you've got a separate layer for each one and of course these are actually sub layers. Um, so you could go through and you could actually ungroup everything and have everything each little piece be on its own layer um, if you chose to do it that way but you don't have to. Um, one of the things that when you have all of your pieces in one main layer like this is you'll notice I can't just click over here on the mat and select the one piece. I actually have to find it in the layers and then I can click on it and drag it over. So that's something a little bit different than what we normally see um, with um, like make the cut for example but this this system actually does work pretty well because you can hide layers so when you go to cut you can hide all these layers and just select the one that you want to cut so let's just go down to our very last layer here which is this white outline 
And so then when you went to cut, it would cut this piece out for you. And if we hide that one and turn this one on, then you could cut just that piece and so forth. So it really, you know, actually works out quite well for um, cutting with the E-Craft too. And the other thing here too I want to show you is I'm going to select a layer here. And you'll see over here that there is an E-Craft box right here in Scale 3. And it automatically defaults to be a cut. But you could select it to be a draw. And then when you go to cut, you can... Um, let me go to my cutter, even though I don't have my eCraft set up right now. Let's see if it will let me do it. The cut draw option, when you have it set to normal, that means it's going to look at all the pieces that you have on the mat and what you have it set for. So if you have it set for draw, it's going to draw. If you have it set for cut, it's going to cut. Or you can just automatically say cut all or draw all here too. Um, so that is uh, the layers uh, in a nutshell here for uh, scale and uh, I'm going to try and do a scale video at least once a month um, and learn just continue to broaden this all a little bit I, I started using scale back when it was scale version 1 and I got very familiar with it and everything but a lot of things change over you know over the years so it's kinda hard for me now to go from make the cut to scale and learn it but I'm doing my, the best that I can with it so if you have something that you would like me to try and cover in the next video uh, the next scale video please leave me a comment on my blog or on my YouTube channel and let me know what it is that you would like to learn more about with scale and I'll um, put that on the list for a future video so Thanks a lot, everybody, and have a great day.